guys i think it is happening guys okay the uk wants to sequence all babies you know they want to try to predict the future of all these babies they want to try to predict you know if the baby is going to have a rare genetic disease or cancer or polio or whatever it is i mean any dna or gene related illnesses or rare genetic disease or whatever the uk wants to collect data they want to start to sequence babies and you guys know that if we are talking about cancer cancer is a structural variation illness okay and anything that has to do with cancer we have to talk about bio nanogenomics because they are the leader in optical genome mapping whenever it comes to structural variation optical genome mapping we are talking about bio nanogenomics so this news is more or less bullish sequencing companies and of course after we acquired biodiscovery we now have access to some sequencing data as well such as loh okay aoh absence of heterozygosity loss of heterozygosity and i believe this is just the beginning i believe the acquisition of biodiscovery is going to help us to unlock a lot of you know data that is coming from the sequencing dna sequencing because we are into optical genome mapping but right now we have access to sequencing um data as well so i believe this news has to do also with bio nanogenomics because whenever you're talking about rare genetic disease that has to do with you know hematological malignancy we are also talking about cancer as well you know and then we are talking about optical genome mapping structural variation to check the structure of genomes so this news is a very scary news okay i mean there is a possible the positive side and there is also a ne negative side to this news because you know um the question is would parents allow the government to sequence their baby right after birth so this is a very very serious information so let's get to it right after the intro what up what up investors it's your way dial welcome to frankla investment where we talk about bngo from monday to sunday even if it's my birthday i still talk about bio nanogenomics to receive daily updates about your investment in this amazing company bio nanogenomics click on the subscription button to become a member of this family join the likes of mr rishipi our chief business officer that says he enjoys my youtube video and my enthusiasm for bio nanogenomics and he thanked me and he hopes that i keep up the great work click on the like button and the subscription button become a member of this family let's get to it all right guys so this page is from um um one month old this article is more than one month old autumn budget 2008 budget 2021 what do we already know about rishi sunak's plan so this guy right here is a counselor in the uk okay but if you go down the plan includes taxation pay and wages and then we have this nhs and health okay and this is where everything got interesting look at this guys another commitment is for five billion pounds on health research and development over three years with some of these going to the government genomics england offshoot for a genomic sequencing project aimed at detecting rare disease rare diseases in newborn babies okay now let's go to the next page of course i'm still going to put link to this article below so you guys can find more information just click on the description below you can see the link to the article and then you can go there and read it by yourself okay now this is the second one guys this one is from um 11th of june 2019 okay of course i'm still going to show you guys the latest news on this topic which of course is from few um weeks or few days ago so uk plans to give all children full genome sequence at birth okay now it continues to say we will give every child the best possible start in life by ensuring they get the best possible medical care as soon as they enter the world okay now this has a lot of ethical you know question attached to it the question is would you like the government to sequence your baby you know and how is it going to i mean baby somehow I don't think it is fair you know to sequence a baby to know the dna you know structure of a baby to know if a baby is going to have a rare genetic disease even before the consent of the baby i believe there is some privacy concerns you know that is related to this news right here but this is government government we are talking about they literally do whatever it is they want to do you guys know about the c19 that is going on 
here in Germany, for example, you can't even go into a McDonald's without showing your passport, your, you know, vaccine passport. You have to be vaccinated to buy a burger or you have to, you know, drive through. If not, if you want to go inside McDonald's, you need to show your vaccine passport. And of course, this more or less like they are forcing us. So if you are addicted to a um, burger, for example, in McDonald's, you may be forced to go and get vaccinated because sometimes the drive through may be closed or perhaps you don't have a car. OK, now let's continue. I don't want to waste your time. So the, the news continues. It says health secretary Matt Hancock sees the future ubiquity of genetic sequencing as a way to offer, I quote, predictive personalized care for children who have rare, rare diseases and other genetic conditions so now the thing is you know this is also about you know personalized medicine if you have a baby for example and the dna of a baby has, has already been sequenced or mapped then you can already tell you know if this baby is going to you know um be allergic to something or you know not allergic to something or you can already tell if this baby is going to have this kind of disease and you can already personalize a medicine for that disease you know i mean personalized medicine is another industry on its own and it is huge that is another industry that i believe bionic genomics is going to be making a lot of you know revenue from in the future of course we are just at the beginning so this news continues it says predictive preventative personalized healthcare that is the future of the nhs and whole genome sequencing and genomics is going to play a huge part in that so this news is more or less all about whole genome sequencing and genomics because most of all these guys still have no idea that there is something out there called optical genome mapping that is set to replace all these old old school you know outdated methods of analyzing genomes for social variation for rare genetic disease and so on and so forth so i believe that is why most of the time whenever you see this kind of this kind of news they mostly talk about genome sequencing okay now it's continuous to say but it would also mean that kids entire genetic sequence will be mapped out long before they can understand what that means or agree to having it done okay now let's go to the next article so that we can end this video all right guys so this is the latest news on this topic this okay so this is from the 25th of november 2021 i made a tweet last week that it is happening i shared a tweet with you with you guys and most of you guys you know i told you guys i'm gonna serve it all so this is the news that i was referring to on my tweet okay now you guys can see the title says this from wired the title says the uk government wants to sequence your baby's genome Genomics England plans to test out a program that will offer whole genome sequencing to newborns, opening up a Pandora's box of ethical concerns. Okay, this news is very big. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm just going to touch some important parts of it. I believe I already shared enough information about this with you guys. The link, of course, is going to be below so that you guys can go into it and read it by yourself. If you live in the UK, I believe this news is extremely important to you. If you are planning to have baby this may be something that is going to be happening in the next two years so this perhaps is the first time you guys are reading about this okay now it continues on uh, the article continues it says about um in october the government announced that genomics england that is the name of the body that is going to be you know um um watching over this or whatever handling this situation or handling this project Genomics England, a government-owned company, would receive funding to run a research pilot in the UK that aims to sequence the genomes of between 100,000 and 200,000 babies, guys. Dubbed the Newborn Genomes Program, the plan will be embedded within the UK's National Health Service, NHS, and will specifically look for actionable genetic conditions, meaning those for which there are existing treatments or intervention and in which manifest in early life such as um, pyridoxine dependent epilepsy and congenital and renal hyperplasia and blah 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 so you guys can see right here there is red genetic disease involved red genetic disease and um 18 months before recruitment of participants starts it will be at least 18 months so in the next 18 months they are going to start to recruit 
participant so that means if you are going to have baby for example in the next 18 months in you know nhs they may include your baby in this okay they are targeting about 100,000 to 200,000 babies to start this program and this is just the beginning this is possibly the future we are looking at guys i mean you have a baby and immediately they are going to map your baby or sequence your baby and you can already tell if this baby is going to have a rare genetic disease and there is of course this or this ethical you know um, um reason why some people would say they don't want it and some people say they want it some people just want to have a baby some people don't even want they don't want to know the birth of their baby while pregnant okay i mean they just want surprise so this this is a very very complicated situation i don't know how it's going to play out but i believe this is the future of medicine personalized medicine guys so i'm going to leave a link below so that you guys can check it out i still have a lot of you know parts that i highlight but i don't need to read everything for you guys this is crazy guys this is absolutely crazy you guys can see say, can read more about this i'm going to leave a link below so i think that's all i have for you guys in this video this is very bullish buying energy genomics as well and of course it is bullish sequencing company okay the likes of illumina of course have a wonderful day guys see you guys in the next video i remember dial this is from clap ciao ciao